It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Okay guys, this video is very interesting. I'm going to show you my best budget weapon in Escape from Tarkov 12.11. It's probably the most overlooked SMG in the game right now. And if you are unlucky, you have to pay 36,000 rubles if you're unlucky. So it's time to start with the video. Dear comrades, I'm in a German is back. Glad to have you here. And today I want to show you a weapon which I'm very successful with. And it was a big surprise because I have never played the following weapon for a longer time period in Escape from Tarkov. But I tried it out, this wipe. I had some very, very good rounds. So you should know how to use this weapon and you should use this weapon for sure. Grab, as always, any drink you like, grab a beer, snack, and let's start with the video. And I'm talking about the Cater B. Let's, let's start with the stats of the Cater B. And it's a pretty simple Russian piece of metal. It's a very nice machine and pistole. It's a very nice MP SMG. The stats are very simple. 50 vertical recoil. 50 ver vertical recoil is, in my opinion, enough to handle a budget SMG. If you compare the MP9 with the Cater, you will see that, is, that the stats are quite similar. But with the MP9, of course, you have the benefit that you can take the MP9 with 1100 RPM. The normal MP9 with 900 RPM has the similar fire rate as the Cater B. But again, the Cater B only costs 36,000 ruble from Prepper directly. Sometimes you can be very lucky and you can grab the Cater for 15 to 25k. I played it with a low durability, I played it with a high durability, and it worked quite well. Downsides of the Cater B is you cannot attach any grips or tech lights or anything else. If you buy the Cater B, that's basically it. On top of that, the mechs are quite cheap. So if we take a closer look at the max, you can buy them for 3k, which is almost nothing for 30 round magazines. And we have 52 ergonomics, which is also okay. What I also like is the ammunition. The ammunition is very, very nice. You can choose between, in my opinion, two types of ammo. The high penetration BPM rounds, they are 9 by 18 BPM. And the thing is with the BPM rounds, you have, as I said, the highest penetration rate for the Cadru B, which is 28. But you have also 40 something damage. But the thing is, your bullet velocity is also higher and the price per bullet is very, very cheap. Let's check that out. 120 ruble for the highest penetration round is nothing. And the, round are, and the rounds are pretty, pretty good in my opinion. And of course, you can also have high uh, flash damage rounds, which are the SP7, 2 penetration and 77 flash damage, which is, in my opinion, pretty good for the price. SP7 is also very cheap. And again, high fire rate and the carry B, you will always get it back from the insurance. Why is it better, in my opinion, than some 9 mils? First of all, you have with AP6 free rounds for 9x19 uh, caliber pistols or SMGs or rifle or whatever, you have a lower muzzle velocity and the price is much much higher. You have to pay around 800 to 900 bucks for AP6 3. Of course the rip rounds are very good, 9x19 rip is, is very nice, but also you have to have the right weapon for this. The MP5, it's great, but it's also a little bit more expensive, lower fire rate. And the thing is that the Cater B is a little bit more simpler to play. But with 9 9 by 19 um, SMGs and rifle and all of that stuff, you can mount a grip, you can mount some tactical devices, you can mount some sights. This is the big downside from the Cater B. But again, the Cater B is very simple and very, very cheap. I had a lot of good rounds and of course I'm going to show you some clips. The Cater B is very surprisingly strong. I think the BPM rounds are, for me, they are working a little bit better, but you definitely should try SP7. Again, this is the flash damage rounds. What I noticed is that, um, again, you cannot mount any sights on the Cater B, which is 
it is a little bit of a problem, but I like the iron sights from the KDB. Till you have this 50, 75, 50 to 75 meters, you have to aim a little bit below the head if you want to land some headshots. That's how the, the iron sights are made of and you cannot zero it because they are fixed and all that stuff. So if you want to land some headshots, aim just a little bit below the head, like chin, or um, neck area and you are good to go. I will show you some clips as well. This weapon is great for every budget runs. You have everything you need. It's a suppressed weapon. You don't have to pay for an extra suppressor. 900 rounds per minute are perfect for SMG and you can win a lot of gunfights. And again, the insurance is worth because almost nobody's playing the KDB and you can get it back. So big rec recommendation from, from my side to the Caterb, it's I, I cannot explain why I'm success, so successful with the Caterb. My rounds are pretty good with the Caterb, and it's overall a pretty good all-rounder in the pretty budget area. So right now, as always, I'm interested in your feedback. What do you think about the Caterb? Have you ever tried the Caterb, or what is your downside? What is your opinion about this? And of course, I'm glad that we have such a nice interactive audience so i'm very 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 interested in your comments feel free to ask as many things as possible and as always we germans want to win at least something so like this video it really helps to this channel and stay safe guys see you in the next video